Working on the 2009 Pontiac Vibe GT with the 2.4 liter 2AZFE motor, uh, popular Toyota Camry Matrix motor, the same thing. Um, working on the variable valve timing or oil control valve. Uh, it's located right here on this side. I've pre uh, disassembled some things to make it easy, uh, but right back here is going to just push the button down, pull it out. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt on the back side back here, which I've already removed. Um, but this bolt right here, it's got a bracket for this hose that needs to be removed in order to allow the solenoid to actually come out. Otherwise, it'll be stuck. We'll take that out. And then uh, you may have to pry on it or twist it. I had to use a little bit of a pry bar to get it to pop out. And then it'll come out. Just a little bit of movement. The reason we're looking at this is because I had a P0011 fault code, which is the failed timing valve control solenoid stuck open. So something we can look at, this is the old one. Uh, it doesn't have movement very well up and down through here. It just, it just gets stuck. See how it's not coming back? It should That spring should have that thing pushing back and forth and it just sticks into position. The new one springs right back. If you wanted to run a voltage check on it, uh, you would connect your positive wire to the well, left side looking at it this way and negatives on the right. We'll take our 9 volt battery Connect to the positive. And then just tap the negative, and you can see that it's making the actuator move. So now we've got our old one hooked up just the same as the other one was. We'll go ahead and connect the negative and see if we get any movement. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's it's sticking real bad, not wanting to function correctly and spring back. So I've got the car in the on position, and I'm going to test for a voltage out of the wiring harness going to the VVT solenoid itself. I've got the ground uh, stuck in the ground, so I've got the DC 20 volts set on the multimeter. We'll just see which one's giving us any voltage, so that's the right one. And that's the left one. So it doesn't get full 12 volts. That's why I see 1.32. So we're looking good there. And that's how you verify which side was the positive and the negative for testing. So before I insert the new one, we need to make sure we seal the O-ring, put a little bit of motor oil on it, and then put a little bit of motor oil in here just to make sure it's lubricated nicely. Because uh, when you start the vehicle, this is what's allowing the uh, variable valve timing part to function. So we make sure that's lubricated. And the reason I'm replacing this part, what, what actually failed, the car was running fine, then I started, started running really rough, just shake and shake and shake and set that fault code. And I had just set timing and it was driving beautifully. And as you can see, this other one um, we discovered earlier was sticking, not allowing it to allow fuel or fluid to flow through correctly. So now it's running again. It's got a little bit of a liquor kick, which is the next project. Uh, but that seemed to fix it up. Thanks.